G'day guys, my name is Straight, aka Laxline, bringing you your Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle. Today, we have a Little Cup battle. I am so excited about Little Cup. I've only just gotten into it. I really have no idea what I'm doing, but I was, I, it's just so fun. It's just something completely different and it's completely out of my comfort zone. Looking at all these Pokemon, I've got, I've got no idea what they do. I'm just going to play it by ear and play it by, you know, sort of intuition with my gut. I don't even know if my team works, to be honest. But, we do have a battle against Bertolette. He is also a Pokétuber. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but definitely go check him out. All his stuff will be in the description. Um, just looking at his team, it, it looks pretty solid. I, I'm i probably most scared of the Eevee. I'm going to assume it's probably Choice Scarf, but it I know they do run Double Edge, so that's, that's going to hurt pretty much everything but Ghastly. But, you know, let's just get into it, and, and we'll just see how we go, hey? I laid off my turf wig. I'm thinking, you know, I'm just going to get some stock um, stealth rocks up. He does end up going into his Thunderfall, which I'm like, sweet. He's going to go for the Volt Switch. There's no reason for him to stay in. I'm able to get some free rocks up, and that does absolutely nothing to me. I wasn't really sure what he was going to go into, but he ends up going into I Chomp Mini. I'm thinking that this thing was definitely a physical attacker. Because uh, that's just what its evolution chain does. But... Fire Blast comes through. Wow. I was just did not expect this whatsoever. There's no way I'm staying around for the next one. I do end up getting up the Leech Seed, which was sort of helpful in the next turn. Um, I'm thinking Squirtle's probably the best guy to actually take the next attack. Um, if he does go for the Fire Blast, it's going to be Resist, so that's going to be brilliant. So Squirtle comes in, but he goes for the Draco. I was like, wow. This is so ridiculous that that little thing can just smash you with a Jaco. It's just, it, I just don't understand. But he's going to harshly drop his hate, um, special attack. So he's not going to switch in next. I actually have the Oran Berry on Squirtle. So that puts me up into near range of full HP. And then the Leaf Seed puts me on full HP. So it actually ended up being a fairly good turn in my favor. He does switch out and he's obviously going to bring back in Thunderfall. There's no way that I'm going to stay in. So I've, I've got to switch out. I'm deciding here, I, was, I wasn't I was really sure, I do go for the Toxic on the Switch. If someone does Little Cup, can you tell me if Toxic is a viable move? This Squirtle actually came from a PU team that I used a little while ago. So I just sort of changed his EV spread and everything. Um, so, But I don't know if it works, like, I don't think it's useful, I'm not sure. Because it seems like a very hit and run sort of um, tier, rather than like a stally tier. I go into Turwig predicting the, the Volt Switch there. Um, and he ends up going into what, mate? Um, I actually don't remember what this thing is called. Um, so I'm happy to just call it what, mate? Um, and he ends up going for the Psychic. The Psychic's definitely going to go go through. I really just kept this thing into Sack It, basically. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go into this guy, little Simba here, with his little, little lighting up mane, and go for the Hyper Voice. I thought it'd be enough, but unfortunately it's not. This Psychic comes through, and that's the end of him. It's so cute watching him faint. Like, look at that. It's so cute. It's like a cute this overload, this whole battle. This is the move I should have done. I should have went into Ghastly. He was going to outspeed, and I could have Shadow Balled him, and just that was would have been the end of it. And I would have had him around for later, and, you know, he was my Choice Scarf user, so it was really, really disappointing. He does go to the Beldum. I'm thinking, you know what? I don't think he's going to match priority other than Eevee, and Eevee can't touch me. So I was like, I'm happy to break my Sash and take this thing down with two Shadow Balls. Then I realized I'm an idiot. Uh, that, um, I can't remember what it's called, is definitely gonna have Aqua Jet. Um, it's called Sylvester in this game anyway. So that was a bit of a misplay on my part. It's just that I didn't really think through completely. Like, I am new to the tier, so it's like a really, really big learning experience. It's completely different. I really, really enjoy it, but like, it, it's like a new thing and I'm not, I'm not, I can't predict everything. I go into Bunnelby, I'm thinking, yeah, it's probably going to be able to take one attack. It doesn't have its ground typing until it evolves. And I'm just going to go for that almighty, powerful, huge power, life orb frustration. And no one's going to live that. No one. But unfortunately, obviously his EV is going to have quick attack, and that's his best play. He's going to come in, he's going to quick attack me. There's no point me switching this out. I, it's It's too risky, basically, on my part. I'm going to switch into my Squirtle, because that's probably my best bet. Uh, because he's just bulky as hell. He knows that his Eevee is basically... He's, I know his Eevee is a win condition. He's going to switch it out, and he's going to go into Thunderfall. 
he's you know like because he just he, he really puts a lot of offensive pressure against me there i do go for the waterfall and i'm just like i hope this does enough like just to put it in aqua jet range and yes that's that's perfect that's exactly where i need it to be i'm like i can just get the aqua jet off now we're both down to two pokemon each he's probably got a better two pokemon than i do but you know this is it's 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 looking good at least he goes into ichop mini I did not think I'd outspeed or do anything. I was like, oh man, I think I'm going to have to just play Risky. I'm going to go into Snubble. Hopefully I can actually, like sort of take some attacks from this thing. But unfortunately the Earth Power does way too much. I was really disappointed because I sort of wanted it to get at least one attack on it. Just to put it in a, like, a better range for like an Aqua Jet or the Waterfall or anything. So he goes down. I've only got um, Squirtle left. I was really, really surprised that I could actually outspeed with this waterfall I didn't think that was gonna happen I was actually tossing up to go to aqua jet but you know that doesn't really do much as well the rough sting kicks in so I'm I'm just gonna get hurt every time I hit him I do get the flinch so I was like yes you know what I need now I need a crit and I I would be a, in a very good position unfortunately I don't get it but you can't rely on hacks to win games so the next earth power comes in I'm obviously gonna survive that <sighs> I do go for the next waterfall. That does take out I chomp chomp mini, but he's only got his EV left. Oh yeah, that that's when I get the crit. <laughs> yeah, that's typical. That's that's what always happens to me when it really really doesn't matter. That's when I get crits. I know that this has quick attack, so this is gonna this this is like GG man. Um, but he ends up going. I I I, that's bad. I go for the aqua jet just to get some damage off basically. But he ends up going for the double edge, and I'm like, yep, sweet. That is a man that knows how to play, because that was just an overpowered move just to take me from that HP 6 down to HP 0. So that was really, really cool. Um, you know, you got to you got to go for the big win. Um, I had so much fun in that battle, and I thank you so much for battling me, Ver Verdelet. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. But definitely go check him out. All his information will be in the description. Also, if you know anyone that's Little Cup Battles, send them my way and also send them his way. I think he's starting a little bit of a series of Little Cup Battles. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it and it's something I really, really want to get into. It's a completely new experience and I like the unknown of it all. So, yeah, help us out, guys. Um, also, thank you for watching, you know, first and foremost. If you did enjoy, leave a like, share, comment, do all of those wonderful things for me. It, it really, really helps to, you know, build us up. Thank you for watching so much. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And, you know, guys, I really hope to see you guys next time.